Good morning, and it's a wonderful morning, and it's Sunday morning, and the time is 9.09 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The date is 9.19, and MMTs are using their trading platform to do the NASDAQ 100. IUXX equals NASDAQ 100 in this platform. What I'm going to do for them is, is that I can only have so much of the chart in the video. I will pull the other piece of the chart over so you can see this move. These are your mathematical uh, index lines as far as where the pricing structure is going to be. What I'm going to do is go back over here to this part of the video and I'm going to go to the brain right here and I'm going to hit 10 deltas. Notice how it gave me all the pricing above. See, So here you can see that the lines got populated automatically and that the, these are our prices and I can just blow up that these are weekly bars in our own application we own this direct access application but listen if we want to see what's below the market let's do 20 deltas now we've got prices that you've seen were automatically calculated each one of these lines for Monday are fifteen dollars and forty nine pennies each delta movement and these are all weekly charts in your mathematical platform. One of the things that I'm going to show the MMT is I'm going to get I'm I'm because you because this is your platform. Uh, you'll notice that down here in the info panel, I've got the half weekly bar at 1934.71. We're going to be watching that one here. I'm also going to pull the brain out of here. Once again, it's 15.49 for Monday that's the pricing and everything in the black box is priced over here in the chart so don't worry about that part of it but let's pull that down and let's see what can happen here and everyone qualifies to be in this program so basically I populated that with one click and it's given me the whole price movement going forward in Monday and each one of these lines represent each one of these lines, here's the other part of the chart, each one of these lines represent $15.49 movement up or down. So basically, I want the MMTs to write down 1934.71. It closed halfway above that previous weekly bar at 1876 by $79. All of this is mathematically calculated for you because the trend is strong as far as the movement up in this three week move and we can see where the weekly bars were increasing we can see here that we've increased three weeks in a row right down here here I'll click on the bar it'll highlight the row 7526 here half week that week 7949 and this last week up here was 7965 and that means we're getting a little bit top heavy we will do the mathematical equations between these weekly moving averages they're done automatically mathematically for you and we can see we got a minus 9.72 there so that means that when we do these calculations it's going to tell you where the trend is so the first support for Monday is right here half of the bar 1934 okay support one support two half of the weekly bar go and here let, let's let's show you where we're getting the data from it's down here in your info panel right here you can see that half of that bar is 18.76 on the week of 96 for the whole week trading week but here let's go to the um, bar up here right here and you've got a half bar at 75.26 that's the support three if we get a reversal let's go to resistance one in the top and I'm going to show you that I'm going to click on this bar right there which I did now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find that highlighted blue line there it is MMTs it gives me the price of that half a bar so write this down we closed at 1955 so let's make sure yep that's the right bar so that was done on 5-3 that was back in May 
and we closed at 1955 on the NASDAQ 100. So that is another area that proves to you that any corrections, this is where lower end support levels will be. But let's go up here to this top bar, which is the most important bar. This bar is your upper end of the market at half bar at 2025 highs. Okay, we're working with that half bar. The other half bar, like I said, right here is 1895 on the week. Okay, and you know that's when this thing was in a downtrend. We were closing 176 points below the last half bar. Look at that, and that was telling you when we were shorting those moves. Now that's the top end of the channel. There's another one here at 10 at 20.022. Okay, and I also want to give you another view here. And right here and right here so this is the major part of that top of that trend let's take a look and see what the high of this bar was and the low of the bar so you can see back here during 53 the low was 1752 look at how the high was and the open was 2010 239 on the top and right back down so the next area of resistance is, is we're going to look at where this price was and the next area of resistance is that resistance short term one is going to be 1991.95 SMFMMTs and that's your number right here in your direct access platform. You're going to, that's resistance one, there's another, res, that's the top end of the current cycle put that number there alright there's another resistance at 1988 okay these are the lows of those bars okay that's so you got that one there let's go down just a little bit uh, 1986.63 is going to be one as well so you got three of those going up through that channel there toward that high but let's get down to the current near one you're going to have to put a 19.72 in there as well. And that's from the 1955 up. Okay, and you already have the lower support levels. And we're coming back up in that NASDAQ 100. But remember, we, we took, we, in the NASDAQ 100, it's simply 100 stocks, people. MMTs know that and MMTs will be transacting their data right here in that chart. Okay, that's the SMF MMT app. These are your lines. I'm going to blow this up one last time for you right here. I only need to go right there. And basically you can clearly see where your upper end of the market is going to be at these lines. When we fell at price at any one of these upper lines, meaning that we got to close above another line. This was a gap sequence to half of the bar. So we know by going to half of this weekly bar, we already know that the drop down support, if the trend stays strong, is at 1934.71. We already know that. We also know that the secondary bar right here at 1876, well below the market, right here, half bar, 1876. We know that that's a good area of support below there. That's half of that breakout bar. Then we already know that down here at 1812 is half of the complete breakout, but we also know where the 52 week highs are going to take place over here. And what they have to do to go through these lines that are mathematically uh, coded for you along with all of your other tools that you have here in the brain. You'll work your brain you know all your prices are within here everything that's in this this brain is calculated on these lines you know exactly what to do you'll trade it and we're going to go do the put options next that's the high part let me click off the brain and you know I'm sorry I don't have the whole application in here but that's the high so let's move this right over where it can be in the video and this part of it let's see if we can get both weekly candles in there I think we might have it out there I hope right up here at the top is that line up there 
So we're going to see how we take out these resistance lines in this trend. And basically, this is the top of it right here, right now. This is that three-week breakout. 